All right, if you're just interested in seeing the deck, I figure I'll just go ahead and scroll, kind of scroll up and down here just so you can see it. So there's the deck. But anyway, what's going on, guys? You're watching the Pokemon TCG, and in today's video, guys, what I got for you, we're going to be taking a look at a deck that I actually saw someone post about after the most recent internationals tournament in the U.S., uh, which is Arceus V-Star, Letheon V-Max, and Flying Pikachu V-Max. I looked at this, and I was like, okay, this looks cool. And it's a lot of fun. I've been playing some games with it, and I have a gameplay at the end of the video to show you guys. But yeah, I, I was actually kind of surprised, uh, especially when I started playing the deck and kind of figuring out what was going on. I was like, okay, this is cool. Uh, so the deck does feature three different types of attackers, which is really sweet. I like that concept alone. Uh, but RC's V-Star is going to be in here with that Trinity Nova attack just to allow you to kind of charge up your Flying Pikachu V-Max and your Leafeon V-Max. Uh, and then, of course, Starbirth is going to allow you to grab two uh, cards out of your deck and put them in your hand. And then Trinity Charge, same exact thing as Trinity Nova, except it doesn't do damage. Uh, search your deck for up to three basic energy cards attached to your Pokemon being any way you like. So obviously that is how these two are going to function, Leafeon and Flying Pikachu. And speaking of Flying Pikachu, uh, the literal embodiment of Pokemon's RKO, I guess. It's their version of the RKO because it came out of freaking nowhere. Um, with the rise of Palkia, uh, of course, players decided, hey, we need an answer. And that answer turned out to be Flying Pikachu VMAX, Arceus, and Flying Pikachu took the most recent internationals tournament, which was insane. Uh, but yeah, Max Balloon is going to do 160, so that'll one-shot Palkia, and then it has a nice ability along with it that during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Now this comes into this comes into play with a lot of different decks. I mean, when you think about cards like Galarian Moltres, Galarian Zapdos, you think about um, Mill Tank and such. It, it's it's pretty much just saying like if you're basic, you can't hit me. So I mean, any white girl that's having Starbucks is not hitting Flying Pikachu V Max anytime soon. So that's really nice. Um, also, the 160 really hits wonderful uh, whenever you're hitting a lot of VMAXs. We also have some damage modifiers in here as well uh, that can really help out with that. So you'll be able to two-shot a lot of other Pokemon, V-Star or VMAX, which is really nice. Uh, but we also run Leafeon VMAX in the deck. Now, this is a card that I've always liked ever since it's first dropped, and it's cool that I'm actually getting to play it again. It has the attack Grass Knot. It does 60 times for each of your opponent's retreat cost. Uh, we also run Galar Mine. I'll show you guys that here real quick. To kind of increase that damage, it just kind of increases the retreat cost of both active Pokemon by two more. And you'll see that I play down Flying Pikachu VMAX after playing Galar Mine, and then I retreat, which is, I, I was like, whoops. <laughs> that was a whoops moment for me. Uh, but also has Max Leaf. I've been using that attack as well. It uh, does 170 to heal 30, and I found that healing that 30 has actually kind of screwed with some numbers here and there. Uh, but Max Leaf is going to do 170, and of course, like I said, there are damage modifiers in here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of those here after we take a look at the card that Leafeon V Max evolves from, which is going to be Leafeon V. So it has greening cells, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I do when I play this deck. So if I do open with Arceus V and I do have double turbo energy, what I will do if Leafeon V is on the field, I will use greening cells to attach a grass energy onto my Arceus V. So that way going into my next turn, if it doesn't get hit by Phantom Waves or a Crushing Hammer, I have three energy already on Arceus V so I can just guarantee myself a Trinity Nova. And then, you know, hey, best case scenario, if I do have another energy in my hand, I can attach that Trinity Nova, get 200 damage or 180, I should say, on the field, soften up a Pokemon and then just get some more energy on the field. So greening cells is a very solid ability that helps out a lot. Uh, and then, like I said, you know, hey, if they hit me with a crushing hammer and they get rid of my double turbo, at least I'll have two energy on the field. So that way, you know, I can use Trinity Charge. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios, but either way, greening cells, very solid ability and a very, very nice thing to do on your first turn. Just get that additional energy out onto the field. Uh, we've also run Radiant Halucha. So this is going to allow you, while Radiant Halucha is sitting on the bench, to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon VMAX, which is really nice. Uh, so you're going to be able to hit them a little harder. We do run Choice Belt, so if you're able to hit a Pokemon VMAX while Halucha is on the field and you have a Choice Belt on your active, that's going to be 60 extra damage, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but speaking of damage, we also have Galarian Zigzag Goon, Headbutt Tantrum, is going to throw a damage counter on here, and you never know when that one extra damage is going to come into play. Uh, we run Crobat V as well with Dark Asset, just going to allow us to draw until we have six cards in our hand. Um, most of the time, the situation with Galarian Zigzag Goon you might run into is that with a Choice Belt and a Double Turbo, Trinity Nova is going to be doing uh, 210. And a lot of Pokemon V have 220. So what you'll need to do... Okay, that was a bad example. <laughs> so a lot of Pokemon V will have 220, so you'll be 10 damage short, so Zigzag Goon can kind of help you out with those early knockouts. 
<laughs> that's such a bad example. The other two that are running don't have a 220. That's funny. All right, anyway. So the last Pokemon we're going to take a look at is going to be Luminion V. This is just going to grab us a supporter with its ability, which is really nice. You never know, but we might need something like that. And it's easily accessible with cards like Quick Ball and Ultra Ball. So now we're going to move on to the supporters here. We have two Avery. This is kind of going back to Palkia V-Star. Uh, this is going to allow us to kind of hinder their bench a little bit. It also helps out against Mew. Uh, but you draw three cards, and then your opponent discards Pokemon from their bench until they have three. Uh, this could also just kind of hinder any plans. You know, you never know what you might be facing off against, what their uh, board situation might be. Avery could kind of screw them up a little bit. Uh, but we also run... Uh, Phoebe in here, and I've actually been wanting to throw in a pal pad just so that way we can potentially do uh, two Phoebe in one game. But it's just going to pretty much allow your Pokemon VMAX, aka your Flying Pikachu and Leafeon VMAX, to bypass any abilities on your opponent's active Pokemon <coughs> built tank um, and just kind of hit right through those and attack them, which is really nice. Uh, we also run Rock Sand if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. Uh, you both you reshuffle, they draw two, you draw six, which is really nice. Uh, we run one Raihan in here just so that way we can get a card and attach an extra energy up to something knocked out. Professor's Research just to pitch our hand and draw a fresh hand of seven. I swear to God, I don't know where this gnat came from, but it's driving me insane. All right. Then we have two bosses orders to drag something up off the bench and Marnie to refresh our hand. So yeah, that is going to do it for the supporter line. Now we're going to take a look at the item cards here. First with the switching cards, of course, Escape Rope. Uh, that's just in here to kind of mess with your opponent a little bit and get your Pokemon out of the active spot because we do not run things like Scoop Up Net or Air Balloon. And then, of course, we have two Switch, which allows you to switch your opponents. Or switch your Pokemon, not your opponent's Pokemon. Blah. All right, now for these searching cards, we do have four Ultra Ball. This can grab anything out of the deck. Four Quick Ball to grab those basic Pokemon. And then Evolution Incense to grab your Evolution Pokemon. One Himalayan Heavy Ball. Uh, you never know, something crucial might be prized, you, or you can... Maybe even pull a target for Arceus out of the prizes. I've done that a couple times so far with Himalayan Heavy Ball. Uh, like, I'll have something that I don't really want to attach to on my bench. I'll play this card, and I'm able to get it out of the prizes. And then pretty much you swap a basic for the Heavy Ball and kind of just keep playing. And if you pull it off your prizes again, you get to play it again. I mean, hey, you never know. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, if, if anything, you can just look at your prizes. That's really nice. Uh, we also run Ordinary Rod. This is going to be in here to allow you to shuffle your Pokemon back in. Um, if you need to use your Flying Pikachu VMAX again in a match, or if you just need to shuffle some energy back into the deck, or if you need to like recover something you might have discarded, something you need gets knocked out, whatever the situation might call for, Ordinary Rod is there to help you out. Um, I already went over Galar Mine, just allows Leaf Gun to hit harder, and kind of screws with your opponent's retreat. Uh, but we run Tool Scrapper, uh, you know, Pokemon tools are very, very popular. And, of course, if you can actually discard a big charm and get a knockout, you have permission to start laughing. I, I've only done that, like, a very small handful of times. But the feeling you get, it's all warm and fuzzy and funny. All right. This Nat's driving me insane. Probably should stop referencing things you guys can't see. All right. So we have Big Charm in here, speaking of that card, just to make our Pokemon a little beefier. And then Choice Belt is going to allow us to hit Pokemon V a little harder. Going back to Halucha, like I said, that along with Choice Belt, 60 extra damage to Pokemon VMAX. Pretty sexy stuff. And then the energy we're going to be running for Double Turbo, 4 Grass Energy, and 3 Electric or Lightning if you want to be super technical with it. Since, of course, we do run Grass and Electric Pokemon. So the deck is very straightforward, guys. You are using Arceus to set up your two attackers. And then Flying Pikachu VMAX is in here. Of course, if you can... If it's a matchup that really calls for flying Pikachu VMAX lead with that, um, Leafeon can dish out some solid damage as well. Really, you just have like some other attackers to just kind of work with along with Arceus in this deck. It's a lot of fun. And like I said at the start of the video, guys, we do have a gameplay to check out. And I hope you guys do enjoy that. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Have a fantastic day. Much love for me to you guys. And I'll see you in the gameplay. Alrighty guys, it is currently 3 in the afternoon and I'm drinking coffee if that's an indication of how my day is going. But welcome to the deck portion of the video. I thought I was facing off against Mewtwo V-Star for the third time, um, but instead it was Shadow Rider with the new combination of Lunatone and Solrock, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, Mewtwo V-Star, I, when I was playing that, I was using Samurott, so it wasn't really like all that fair. Um, and yes, yeah, Samurott can win games, I'm surprised too. But 
Yeah, I'm really needing this coffee. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get me a sippy of it real quick. Uh, anyway. So yeah, as you guys can see, I am using Crobat for the dark asset. I have a pretty solid hand here. And I'm just trying to go for the setup. Um, and I think here in a little bit, I eyeball that Halucha when I use my Starbirth. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon TCG Online lately because I'm trying my hardest, guys, to nullify the misplays that I've been making lately. And as I say that, I just remember that there is a misplay that I make towards the end of the gameplay, followed by one that I'm blaming on my dog. But yeah, the misplays have been driving me absolutely insane as of late. And it's definitely something that I have been wanting to reduce as much as possible. Um, I, I know that, like, I shouldn't care, but I feel like it really lowers the quality and really just kind of hurts the chances of me potentially getting a good video out because I can't, of course, you know, publish it, you know, because, hey, I messed up again and cost myself the game or something. So I've been trying my best to practice a lot lately. That and to be completely honest with you, there's nowhere around me really to practice. Um, the two locations I can play at are kind of awful. Um, and, I, and that that sounds mean, but it's, it's the truth. Um, one of them, we got kicked out uh, because the crowd was coming in that were there after us. Um, even though we paid for an event, they cut the event short even though we paid for it made us get out. And then the other one, I'm, I'm pretty much just playing children the entire time and I'm not really benefiting from it. So I figured, hey, we're going to go ahead and hop online and just grind online and get some reps in and practice. You know, that's, that's all you can do. But as you can see, my opponent is absolutely going off. This combination of Lunatone and Solrock is actually pretty cool. I even faced a deck that was straight up Lunatone and Solrock. Uh, that was pretty cool. They just kind of kept sending up Lunatone and uh, charging it up with energy and hitting. And I was like, dude, this deck is cool. Alright, so as you guys can see, I am trying to get my Pokemon charged up as much as possible. And another reason why I really wanted to add in Palpad was because, of course, whenever you pitch something with Professor's Research, or one Professor's Research, again, I don't really need to mention that um I, you just want to shuffle it back in so i mean that would give you another professor's research in the game because it definitely plays one another raihan another phoebe um it can potentially give you a third avery uh, i mean there, there's a lot of different things that it can do so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just trinity nova hitting that shadow rider for 180 and kind of getting this flying pikachu set up now and i keep forgetting that flying pikachu v max is an electric and a uh double turbo i used to say double colorless but now we have to say double turbo um i keep forgetting that for some reason this is this is weird but i've actually really enjoyed playing this deck i grinded this deck um or grinded with this deck i should say for about an hour and a half i just kind of sat there and played some games and um kind of tweaked it and looked at it and i made like two changes i think i think it was two changes if i'm not mistaken yeah anyway so yeah, as you can see, my opponent is shuffling in that beautiful Cresselia. God, that art looks so good. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I'm on a long weekend, and I'm excited. And then after this, I have like a three-day work week, and then I'm going out of town for a little mini vacation. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. As my opponent sends up Lunatone to absolutely destroy me. And if you guys are wondering, I recorded this right after I did the deck profile portion. And so this freaking gnat is still flying around my face and it's driving me insane. Like, I'm trying to karate kid this stupid gnat. And now I'm remembering how much I don't like Cobra Kai. This video is derailing. Alright, so my opponent is absolutely spamming sun energy. Uh, and charging up these Lunatones and getting a potential gigantic hit going with that Shadow Rider. Uh, my opponent has a grand total of 7 energy on the field. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Lunatone and Solrock are just two cool Pokemon that drove me insane as a child. Alrighty, so I am going to promote my Flying Pikachu here. Utilize my opponent's training court, which is always really nice. And... Yeah, we're going to talk about the no rotation thing. I'm, I, at first, I was like, you know, that kind of sucks. But then I started thinking about it. I don't know why I benched that Arceus. Anyway, I started thinking about it. And I was just like, dude, that's actually kind of cool. Because I was trying to figure out what in the world are we going to do next format. 
And then I also wondered if Pokemon had like any big ideas potentially of like what they can do next season. And they realized, hey, people hadn't really got a chance to use these cards yet, so they extended it. Or maybe they have some big plans. Or maybe, you know, hey, they're like, hey, we just released Shadow and Ice Rider. We don't want to like immediately make those products just not worth getting. There's a lot that goes into it. I, I mean, there, there's a lot of different, you know, scenarios, theories and such. But regardless, I'm kind of excited, you know. Um, have like another season with the stuff and hopefully we get to play some more. Hopefully they start, you know, making smaller events happen. So that way I don't have to play it. one of the two locals I don't really like going to. Um, that'd be cool. So yeah, we see Underworld Door. So now the Shadow Rider deck potentially has ways to get energy from not only the uh, hand, but the discard pile as well. So that's really good. I, I kind of like this idea. Um, Lunatone and Sarok, I've ran into that quite a bit uh, today on Pokemon TCG Online, uh, which is really cool. It's cool to see players like already utilizing and getting ideas going. Uh, so my opponent has five energy, which is really nice. Uh, the cool thing about those two Pokemon that I, I like is pretty much you don't really have to worry about like when your Pokemon goes down with Shadow Rider, you don't like you lose a lot of your damage output. Those two can just really recover some energy back onto the field. And then of course with Scoop Up Net and such, you can just kind of keep using them more. I like this combination, and I'm really wondering if this is actually going to make an impact on the format or change anything up, or if Mewtwo is going to potentially do anything moving forward. Uh, po Pokemon Go, the set, like when I first heard about it, I was like, eh, you know, I was like, okay, cool, cool. And then I started seeing like seeing some of the cards, and I was like, okay, never mind. This set can actually impact the, you know, impact some things, you know. And I was really excited about that. I think like the, as weird as it sounds. <laughs> The, the, like the card that I'm most excited for in Pogo is the stupid rare candy, and that's just because of how cool it looks. I just want one. Like I, it, it, there's no like specific reason. I just want one because it looks cool. I think this is the portion that my opponent sat there for a really long time that my stupid keister forgot to cut out. Um, so I'm gonna sit here and talk to you guys about some things real quick. Uh, first one being, thank you guys so much for 1500. We we hit 1500 finally. Uh, I know I thanked you guys in the last upload I made, but for real guys, thank you so much. Like that was absolutely awesome to see uh, when I, I clicked on my uh, sub count and I saw 1500, I, I was so happy. Um, thank you guys. Uh, it's cool to know that my channel still growing. I was worried there for a minute that my channel just wouldn't be able to grow anymore. Um, and then here you come just absolutely going nuts on the videos. So appreciate that. And since we're uh, actually facing Shadow Rider, um, I will have the opening for the Shadow Rider League Battle Deck as soon as I can. Uh, come to find out, we actually accidentally got the Ice and Shadow Rider decks early. Um, so yeah, Ricky and I did the battle and everything, and then I found out that like the decks weren't even supposed to be on the shelves yet. Um, which is annoying because I saw two Ice Rider decks and I didn't buy both of them because I was like, I'll leave this in case someone else wants it. And, um, and then they, didn't announce, or they announced that they're not doing a rotation. So that added to it. And I was like, man, I really should have bought both of those. So I do plan on buying them again, uh, the Ice Rider one, and then buying a Shadow Rider deck. So yeah, my opponent is still kind of just going off. This was like one of those turns where I was like kind of worried because I just see they're doing a whole bunch and they're getting some energy back onto the field. Um, and I figured at this point, I was like, all right, so the game plan kind of looks like I'm going to be taking down that Lunatone with four energy. And then I'm going to hopefully boss up that Shadow Rider with 180 damage later to close out the game. That's kind of where I was just, in, you know, looking at it. And I think my really stupid play is coming up, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and again, guys, I am working my ass off on trying to improve these misplays. Because they're, they're driving me insane at this point. <laughs> um, so we see Max Geist. My opponent hits me for a nice 220 damage. Um, which is not too bad. So... I still have no idea why I benched that Arceus. <laughs> and so I, right here, I, I gather mine for some freaking reason before retreating because I'm sending up Leafeon. At this point, I just completely abandoned Flying Pikachu. I was like, it's got 90 HP left. It's going to give up three prizes. I'm going to force my opponent to boss it up. I'm not I'm not leaving it up there anymore. And to be honest with you, I probably should have retreated. I probably should have training court. Attach an energy to my RCSV and then retreat it. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of setting in here. And I accidentally clicked both electric energies. Again, blaming you for that. I'm looking at you, Ray. Um, blaming her for that. 
and I just I leave my flying Pikachu there with a grass energy. Which, to be honest with you, at this point in the game, I was kind of just dumb with flying Pikachu. I was like, it, it, at this point, it's just an easy three prizes for my opponent. Um, so yeah, I go down to one prize card. I had the Luminion in hand, uh, just in case I might need that. Um, yeah, I, I pretty much have game in hand if my opponent doesn't disrupt my hand. So yeah, the gameplay is coming down to the end, guys. My opponent was had a really sweet deck that I really liked facing. Um, I'm going to be trying my best to get some more videos out for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with some fun videos and such, and, and I, I'm trying my best to, you know, have a nice mixture of, like, somewhat competitive, somewhat fun decks, and then showcasing off, like, new products and such. I'm, I'm just kind of doing my thing at this point. I... I don't really want to be like one of those other generic channels that just, you know, covers like every single like major winning tournament deck and such. And I'll, I'll still do them, but I just kind of want to have fun with it. You know, I just want to do some different kinds of videos and enjoy what I upload, you know, and never take things too serious. But, you know, thank you guys so much for the 1500 subscribers. It's, it's cool to see my channel growing and, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep posting the content that I can. And, you know, as long as you guys watch it, I won't, I won't stop. So that's all I got to say. Thank you guys all so much. I'm going to promote the Leafy on here. Knock out this Lunatone and finish out the game. Hit that Max Leaf. 170 damage, taking down the Lunatone, sealing the victory. It was a super close game between my opponent and I. And let's take a look at the damage real quick. Oh, just a shade under 1,000. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I love you. And as always, guys, this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Thank you.